I'm out in the woods just walking Raven. It's 29 degrees outside right now and it's been the warmest in the longest time. Oh, it feels like spring and it feels so great to be outside. Like my face and my fingers aren't going numb because it's cold or anything. It's just so nice out. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a really long time since I've been able to go out and just enjoy the woods like this. And as many of you already know, since the beginning of this year, 2022, I have quit my full-time day job. This entire month has been a learning experience. I've used this time to pretty much just learn more about myself, my mental and my physical health and learn how to structure my entire day, maybe even month or year. So yeah, I've learned a lot about myself this month. I haven't been posting a whole ton of new content on YouTube or TikTok even. Um, just recently, like a few days ago, I started ramping up content again, but uh, I've enjoyed sort of like taking a break and not needing to post every single day. <coughs> My goal for this year is to build up my YouTube channel. Reach that 100,000 subscriber sort of milestone. But right now I'm just enjoying the process in my free time. I've been able to spend more time with my family and Raven and even myself. I have time to be alone by myself in my head and uh, be able to learn more about myself and figure things out. Right now, I've been filming on a new camera. It has a mic on it, and I'm going to eventually get a wireless mic also. So I'll be able to like make videos out in the wilderness <sighs> with a mic on, film myself and be like far away from the camera, but still be able to speak and have clarity. And, and so, that, so that's going to be really cool. Um, and, and the camera that I'm using right now uh, has the ability to function with an external battery pack. So I can attach an external battery pack to like the camera and it will pretty much just run the entire time. <coughs> so I won't need to really worry about the extra batteries or anything like that on the camera. I currently have like a mic with I think it's called a dead cat on it or something. It's this fluffy thing on the mic and uh, it's gonna cut the wind out. <sighs> so yeah, I can't wait to start filming more videos and stuff on this camera. I'll make a dedicated like TikTok or maybe YouTube video on the new gear and the new setup that I have eventually. I've been sent a bunch of products and stuff like that to test out and to share um, and I haven't had the opportunity to really make good videos for them yet. I have this stainless steel firebox thing that I have to kind of share with you guys. It's really cool. There's a air purifier that, <laughs> that I need to make a video on also. Um, I think I need to make another Genki Force video. One of the coolest things that I got is a digital color night vision camera it's by psionics and they sent that to me and uh, i'll be uh, testing it out and using it and seeing how well that camera works at night it also has like this illuminator that's like this infrared light or something it's really really fascinating i need to make a video on that a while back raven had cut her paw but uh, it has since healed it took about a good two weeks before I was able to take her sock off and her bandages. <sighs> right now, even right now, after about like a month, uh, it's not fully healed yet even. Because where the skin, where she got cut, is really thin still. And I think it just needs to get calloused over time at this point. Uh, but she's doing fine. Alright, so we're back in the van and uh... Winter has always been a really difficult season for Raven when it comes to like traveling with me. Like she's shaking right now because she's scared. <sighs> and I think it's going to require a whole ton of training to get her not scared anymore. Um, 
But like in the past, Raven was scared of like the car wash. And when she, when we were in the car wash with Raven, it just frightened her. And so that kind of triggered like her bad connection with vehicles. And this was like four or five years ago. But she's also scared of like thunder and lightning and all of that also, and, and loud noises. And so when the vehicle is running and driving over like snow and everything and debris, it causes a lot of rumbling and stuff. And so that frightens her. And so winter is really difficult because of that, because there's snow on the ground and like ice and stuff like that and debris that I drive over and the streets aren't clear and clean like it would be during like the spring, summer and fall months. And so like, as much as I want to bring Raven around and out uh, during the winter, uh, she like gets incredibly frightened. Like she shakes and pants and everything like that. She like breathes super deeply. Like right now the car is parked and, and she's like this. But when I start the vehicle and start going, she goes crazy. She like, she, she's incredibly frightened and I hate that. Like I don't want to put her through this, but like, she enjoys going out and having fun in the woods and stuff, but she doesn't make that connection, right? She doesn't make the connection that she has to go through like the vehicle in order to get to where she wants to like be and have fun. So like going to the dog park, right? She loves the dog park, but like she hates the trip there to the dog park. Um, I know what I need to do to train her to be better with this, you know, like I'll just, um, I'll condition her around the vehicle first, you know, by giving her treats, playing with her around the vehicle. Then later on, I could possibly like give her treats by running into the vehicle and running out, going in and out and stuff. And then later in the kind of progressing like that, you know, but it's a whole lot of work. Um, I do have time, I suppose, but uh, it's kind of difficult to do it during the winter right now because it's so cold. Um, <clears throat> but more on that later. Recently, my video on portable soup has gotten really, really popular. And a lot of people have been requesting like a more in-depth video on it. And so I'll actually be doing it. I have a bunch of like, this is beef feet. And this right here is pork feet. Um, and I've got a bunch of other stuff too, like tendons and stuff. And I'm going to make an in-depth video on it. There's actually several different things that I can do with this. And so I want to explore a lot of different things. So, um, collagen turns into gelatin basically after cooking it. Um, and so, uh, I, I want to make like homemade gummy bears, uh, with this sort of method. Uh, where I'm just cooking like the beef feet and pig feet and all that and like tendons and stuff um, Because on YouTube, there's no videos on how to make uh, like gummy bears from scratch uh, without using uh, like gelatin powder or whatever uh, because that's like if you search homemade uh, Gummy bears, that's all that comes up. You don't see any videos of people using this you know, and this is like the original source of, of, of gelatin. Um, and so I want to be the first one who does it. And I think it'll make for a really good TikTok video also. It would be like, hey, let's make uh, gummy bears out of chicken feet or let's make gummy bears out of pork feet, you know, and show it. I think that video would probably go viral. I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. Uh, but I want to make a video like that <clears throat> So pretty much homemade gummy bears um, And then uh, I want to make a more in-depth video of the whole process of making portable soup um, from start to finish uh, and then there's another thing is uh, glue um, so like a natural glue I've already made a video like this on on TikTok. Um, 
but it was last year and it was a while ago so it's buried under all of my other videos and stuff um, so basically it's a, en entirely the exact same process you just boil it and boil it down so it's a really thick consistency and from there you can then use like beef tendons like raw beef tendons uh, that's dried up you just pound it out and you like strip it and then it'll be sort of like a natural um, fiberglass glue essentially I've explored that a little bit in the past but I haven't really gone in depth with it and so it'd be a really cool YouTube video and so I'll go and do something like that but you know what I really want to do I want to go on a road trip with Raven but like I mean Raven is scared you know but she's doing okay now after sitting around a little bit longer like we're not moving the vehicle's not moving but like she's stiff and she's not comfortable you know like how she should be um but yeah once i start the the, the car um she's gonna start shaking and yawning and and panting and stuff like that um but like a, a road trip with raven a raven would be a lot of fun um and uh i'll turn my van into like a camper uh, I can put down like a small platform or something so it's flat. I can have like small cabinets or something like that to just hold my gear or whatever I need, food and stuff, water, any supplies. And I want to be able to cover up like the windows also or have some sort of like thermal reflective uh, material also to keep like the, the space a little more like uh, comfortable. <clears throat> Because I feel like, because I feel like I want to have like a really drastic change. And I think that drastic change could come from just me going out on an adventure by myself with Raven or something, you know, and kind of finding myself or refinding or reinventing myself in a way, maybe, and just vlogging the entire sort of experience. It'd be cool. The last thing that I want to mention is my Patreon. Um, my Patreon has been pretty empty lately. Uh, I haven't posted anything on it or done anything with it. However, uh, I have good news for those who are part of my Patreon. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, and I'll be posting more content on there. Uh, and I'll be doing giveaways and be sending out those backpacks that I promised also. I have uh, all of the backpacks ready already with like all the gear. Uh, it's really cool and it's really extensive kind of in my opinion. Um, I'm losing money on it to be honest. Uh, <laughs> and so like uh, I'm not making money from like the backpacks. Uh, and, and so like I am going to send it out and I'm going to readjust my um, sort of rewards for that tier because I don't think I can consistently produce this backpack and gear um, uh, effectively right now. Maybe later on. Uh, I still kind of want to do a backpack, you know, um, but it, it, it's going to, um, I don't know, it, 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 it needs to make sense you know and right now it doesn't really make sense because i'm losing money out on it um and so i'll be sending those out i have all the backpacks i just need to uh like put them like package them up or something and then send them off basically that's all i need to do that's left but i do want to make a video on it i want to make a video like sharing like hey this is what i'm doing um, so that people know uh, it's a really basic survival pack, you know, uh, it has the five C's of survival items in it. And so like cut, there's a cutting tool, there's a combustion device, several combustion devices, to be honest. Um, uh, there's cordage, uh, a container and there's cover. Um, so like the cutting tool, like I'm actually sending out a knife. Um, and it's one of my favorite knives. It's a cheaper, more affordable knife, but it's one of my favorite knives. It's a Mora companion. Um, but yeah, I'll make a video on it. And uh, I think that's it for now. If I think of anything else to talk about, I will. 
So I actually have one more thing to talk about, and it's the shed. The shed extension is kind of done. It's not really done, see? So the window is not done yet. Roof and the shingles are done. The siding is done too, see? Everything's good. I don't have these covered up yet, and I need to get that done. This is behind the shed. See, I have all of that done also. This is where the door is supposed to be. I have like an opening there, I think. And then there's openings up here too that I need to close off. That's the main shed that has the panel that has fallen off. Uh, there's my uh, pipe for my wood stove. And what I want to eventually do is just clear up this entire spot and this entire area here too. Um, but I need to put in the door and uh, close up all that. Here is the shed, and then there's the opening to the extension. I have this really cool light switch thingy, and it's wireless, that connects to this receiver here, that connects to my lights, like that, and like that. So when I press this, it turns on all my lights. So this month I've learned a lot about myself. One of the things I've learned is that my mental health kind of reflects what's going on in my physical life around me, like my environment. Um, so like if my thoughts and mind are unorganized and just a mess, my physical life around me is also a mess. And so it's a complicated matter. Like, I feel like I'm constantly always trying to clean, right? Like, I'm trying to organize and clean constantly. But there are times where I don't want to or don't like to or just not motivated to. But I know in the back of my mind that I need to in order to get things done. And it's been a challenge that I've been trying to tackle, like, day by day, you know. And um, it's been challenging and <laughs> it's been tough uh i've worked out a routine in a way where like if i need to clean up something um uh, or put away something i do it immediately right away or else it will just pile on and on and on so to get to my point here um my shed is a complete mess like there's merchandise there's products there's food there's items and just stuff all around, you know, like it's, it's a freaking mess. Like <laughs> it's unorganized. I can barely walk around in the shed. Um, and it's just cause my mental health is sort of like in jambles, you know, and, and, and it's also just freezing cold <laughs> most of the time. And I just can't find the time to find the motivation and time to actually go and and clean up and everything and uh these next few days it's going to be a lot warmer um and so i'm going to try my best to get things done little by little and hopefully i can be able to get all that done and once like my physical sort of environment is organized and clean I, then i feel like i can organize and clean my mental health i think that's the, the problem and, and like my bedroom right now is clean spotless you know um and i feel great and i feel more like I, I feel more clarity but whenever i'm in my shed i don't feel that way because the environment is just a mess and 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 i know how to fix it it's just sometimes it's really challenging too um so yeah um that's pretty much it for uh the shed um sort of update i'm gonna get a shed video done actually like i'm still editing like all the pieces together again and so keep an eye out for that so you'll see like that video up soon hopefully <laughs> but uh yeah i appreciate everyone uh watching my videos um i will be uh up to, like i'll be editing more videos i have a bunch of videos i have to edit and so next week i'm going to start um, scheduling things out uh, so I'll be able to like get things done 
in a more timely manner. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Helps out the algorithm. And then uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, purchase some of my merch. It helps support me as a creator. Um, and I also have like brand ambassador links and stuff to products that I use and have. Um, so go to the beacon, go to the beacons link uh, in the description, and you'll be able to see all of the links. So like Danos and Bushcraft Spain, and my spread shop and everything. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.